Go ahead, what's the deal now? Oh man, Ghost Report, right? What you say now? They give me this new PO, some female PO, you know, and I'm, and I'm actually trying to comply with the woman, but, you know, she comes with this great idea that I got some type of drug problem, and I probably do, but, Ain't no way in the world I'm finna be sitting in no gateway at 8 o'clock in the morning talking about recovery. My sponsor don't do no relapsing. Right. So anything these people got to offer me as far as human re human counseling is concerned, it don't work for me. Right. So I ain't finna sit up in no groups and have your people getting employed off me. And you, if you want to help me as my PO, then you get me one of them great jobs and see how successful I be. Right. That's the only help you can do for me out here. Other than that, I'm good. So what you tell her about as far as you, you know, it's not gonna happen. The, the, dirty, I ain't, the dirty yearns, though. What you, what you, I'm gonna continue to get high of reefer off marijuana. I am. That's my drug of choice. And then I also told her, because of some cocaine in the urine, if I was using cocaine, you wouldn't even have to worry about it because I wouldn't be reporting. <laughs> <laughs> Then she runs to get the supervisor, who's my ex PO, who I put out my house about 15 years ago. I said, Oh, yeah, I know him. He know who I am. I told him when I was on cocaine that I'm through reporting. Matter of fact, I'm through parole, period. Get out my house. Period. <laughs> this is what I told my ex PO, who's the supervisor right now. Get the fuck out my house, man. For real, man. We about to roll up, man. I appreciate it. I ain't done with it. <laughs> you got more? No, I ain't done with it. Now, come on over here in the light, my I'm nigga. Gonna, uh, I'm gonna go back Monday. Uh huh? I'm gonna go back Monday. Uh huh? And talk to the supervisor, supervisor. Uh huh? Because I see the snowball effect. So I've been doing this shit a long time, and I ain't gonna be the end of one end up in the cell because of this shit that y'all trying to put down out here. Right. I love my freedom. I need my freedom. So if, if that's the case, you're gonna have to comply on some level. I could play on all levels, that's why I go down there and report. Did you hear me say I'm going back down there Monday? <laughs> <laughs> the six uh, sentence was in the, in the early 1980s. They don't do the zip to six no more, but. Explain. Yeah, because it was illegal. Okay. They illegally incarcerated me for a number of reasons. Number one, I was incarcerated at the age of 16 for retail theft and theft by unlawful taking. Right. And they called me a criminal. And I didn't become a criminal until I got to the state penitentiary at Camp Hill where the real criminals was. The Philly boys and the Pittsburgh boys, they 15 years old in jail for murder and armed robbery and bank robbery. Mm -hmm. And then they send you down there with them animals and put you in a cage and expect you to come out in society six years later and act like a human being. Mm -hmm. Virtually impossible. Okay. And they understand that. Mm -hmm. So the objective was to capture your mind and murder your spirit from gate from point one. That's what they trap is in life. So all you black men stay out of that incarceration at a young age, because once it starts, they ain't gonna stop if you don't. So tell them. Fix to, to to what I understood was I was supposed to get an interview from the parole board once every 12 months with an opportunity to regain my freedom. Well, that never happened. I got an interview, but because I didn't understand the system and understand what I was supposed to be doing to regain my freedom, I ended up doing 54 months at a 72. My man, 25th in Lehigh, Hang Street, Money Town, right? Somewhere like that in Philadelphia. It's been a while since I've been down there, right? But I met my man when we was in uh, Camp Hill. My man taught me how to rip, taught me how to box. I'm sure y'all know him from Lehigh. And uh, what's his name? His name is Anthony DeShields, they call him the Mongo softball boy from North Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. And uh, he taught me the game of boxing. And uh, if I had been smart, I'd have executed on the opportunity and gone and got me some serious money. I didn't know how hard life was going to get, but I saluted, saluted my man from North Philadelphia, Mongo. Was he nice? Real nice. They know him. One of the nicest in the city. Yeah, I mean. Well, who was the trainer down there at Camp Hill? Charlie Daniels was the trainer at the time. Charlie Daniels, you know what? Charlie Daniels, I heard uh, Bernard Hopkins say his name in a, in, in a documentary. That's before. back. That's back in his days, his era. Cause Bernard Hopkins was bidding in the '80s. I think he ended up getting out of penitentiary like '89, '91, or something around there. And uh, yeah, he could very easily have been training him too, because you know how they transfer you from one situation to another, another situation. You know. How, how long, so you say you ended up down there for five years, you was on the boxing team? 
Yeah, I was on the boxing team at Camp Hill and Retreat. How, how long, uh, how did they go about choosing niggas for the boxing team? Shit. They didn't choose you, you chose them. Oh yeah? Yeah, you had to go down there and then, first thing they did is put you in the ring. They wanted to see if you had some heart first. Fuck all that training. We want to see if you tick or right. Okay. And once you did that, they started their process with you. But I wouldn't recommend it. I wouldn't recommend nobody to box. For real? Yeah, for real. You got too many reasons to use your mind in life. And there's a pretty good chance that you ain't gonna become no money Mayweather anyway, so don't waste your time. <laughs> 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 and you need your mind for too many reasons in life. Give, give me a sign out for Gully TV, homie. I'm gonna get back with you. This big tweet out of Erie PA. Go big ahead. Tweet 22nd of Diamond, Hang Street, Money Town, Groove City. Stay up out here, baby. All right, one.